everyone and welcome back. It's Julianne here for Trinity Stamps and today I'm going to be recreating a shaker card I made a couple weeks ago. But for my card today I'm going to be using the new Space Otter Stamps and Dies as well as the Marshmallow Alpha Dies and two of the Slimline Series die sets that I'm going to be creating my shaker with. And those include the scalloped panels and banners as well as the stitched panels and windows. I had so much fun creating my last slimline shaker card that I wanted to recreate it again to give to a coworker that is leaving and starting a new job this coming Monday. To start off my card today, I'm going to be stamping a total of eight of the otter images. So that's going to be four of each of the two otters that come in this stamp set. And my plan is to color them in rainbow order, so I will only be using seven of the images today. I started out by stamping all of them using Memento Tuxedo Black ink, but decided that I wanted to clear heat emboss them, so I did re-stamp them using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And since I did clear heat emboss them, Copic coloring is going to be fine and it's going to give that raised image on all of my outlines that I love so much. Once I had everything stamped out, I'm going to be doing my Copic coloring, and I will have all the marker caps off to the side so that you can see what color combinations I'm using today. Usually when I do my coloring, I like to start with my lightest shade and then work my way to my darkest and then back down to my lightest. But I decided today that I wanted to do it a little different. So for each of my color combinations, I'm gonna start with my darkest shade and then I'm just gonna work my way down to my lightest before moving on. I'm going to continue to color in each of my otters and I'll just put on some music and I'll be right back. Once I was done with all of my Copic coloring, I'm going to be using the coordinating dies to die cut out those cute little otters using my die cutting machine. I just love these otter images and I definitely love them in rainbow. Once I have all of those cut out, I did some additional die cutting off camera where I used the largest scallop die from the scalloped panels and banners die set to die cut some ranger watercolor paper that will be used for my background. And using that same large scallop frame, 
and the smallest of the stitch frames, I temporarily adhered them together using some washi tape, as you can see here, and I'm gonna run that through my die cutting machine a total of eight times using some 80 pound black cardstock. And you can see how these frames line up with that background panel. And later in the video, I will show you how the frames will end up creating our shaker well. But before I do that, I'm going to be doing some quick ink blending to create my space background for today. And for that, I'm going to be using three different Distress Oxide ink colors, Wilted Violet, Blueprint Sketch, and Black Soot. And I'm going to be blending all three of those colors together onto that watercolor paper. And I have sped this up, but I'm not too worried about where I'm putting the colors because it's supposed to be space. So the black soot is really going to cover up most of it, but I want there to be hints of different colors in there. So I'm just going to continue ink blending until I get the blend that I'm happy with. Once I was happy with my space background, I'm going to splatter some water onto it using a Distress sprayer. And I'm going to let that sit on there for a couple of seconds before using a paper towel to dry it up. And that's going to give my background some really nice texture. And to add even more texture to my card, I'm going to be adding a little bit of water as well as some white paint together. And I'm going to splatter that all over my background using a paintbrush. I really like the way that this background came out, but in the final card, it's hard to tell since my otters will end up covering it up, but that's okay. Once I'm done with my background, I'm gonna put that panel off to the side to dry, and I'm gonna start working on my sentiment for my card. For my card today, I used the new Marshmallow Alpha dies to die cut out the letters to spell miss you. Since again, this card, like I mentioned earlier, is going to a coworker who is leaving. A bunch of us actually met up at work today to give her a final farewell and had a parade of cars honking and waving before we headed back home. I think she really enjoyed seeing us all one last time. But back to the card. I die cut those letters out with some white cardstock a total of three times. And I'm just going to adhere all of those letters together using some liquid adhesive. I'm going to start working on assembling my shaker next. Using some leftover packaging, I'm going to trim that down using one of the black frames so I know where to cut so it fits to create my shaker window. Once I have that leftover piece of packaging all trimmed down, I'm going to adhere it to this first black frame that you're going to see here, and that's going to create our shaker window. Once that's adhered, I'm gonna start adhering all of my otters to my shaker window. 
I found in my last shaker card that it was easier for me to adhere all of my images at this point in the card instead of waiting till the end. So alternating between each otter, I'm going to be either adhering them down using that same liquid adhesive or foam adhesive. And once I get all of my otters adhered to my shaker window, I'm going to use that same liquid adhesive to adhere all of my letters as well. Once I have everything adhered to that window, I'm then going to adhere the rest of the black frames together, and that's going to create our shaker well. And then finally, once that's all done, comes the fun part of adding in all those beautiful Trinity stamp sequins. So I'm just going to continue to adhere everything down and put on some music, and I'll be right back. Now comes the fun part of making any shaker card, which is adding in all of the beautiful sequins. I used a variety of different sequins today from Trinity Stamps, including the Melted Icicles and the Oh My Stars, and I also found some purple sequins that I thought would work perfectly for my space-themed card. And I'm not too worried about adding in too many sequins to my card today, since my shaker well is plenty thick since I have eight layers of that 80-pound cardstock there is going to be plenty of room for those sequins to move around and not get stuck. Once I've added in all of those sequins, I'm then going to adhere my background panel, and I'm just going to use that same liquid adhesive from before and put it all over that last black frame before adhering down my background panel. Once I've made sure that my background panel is all adhered and it's not gonna go anywhere, I'm gonna flip over my shaker and you're gonna see just how amazing this card looks. I just love creating shaker cards and I am definitely obsessed with how this one came out. I just love seeing all those beautiful sequins moving about, really bringing my card to life. So the next step in my card today is going to be adhering my shaker to my card base. For my card today, I cut down my card base to eight by eight and a half and I scored it for creating a top folding slimline card. And it was at this point that I decided that my sentiment was missing just a little bit of something, 
So I decided to die cut out each letter from various colors of glitter cardstock that I thought would really match my rainbow otters. And I'm just going to be adhering each of those right on top of my white cardstock letters that are already adhered. Once I get all of those letters adhered, that's going to complete my card for today. I want to thank you all for stopping by and spending some time with me. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe for more card making videos. If you are interested in any of the supplies I used in my card today, they will all be listed and linked down below in the description. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day and happy crafting! Thank you.